guys and gals welcome back to doing redneck things off grid and I did it again I don't have no idea what day it is Tuesday I believe it's July 30th yes it is because to tomorrow is uh, our oldest daughter Paula's birthday she's gonna be 40 Ooh, 40 e happy birthday early birthday Paula anyway you got some good things happening uh, went and got some some more solar panels. I found a really good deal on Craigslist, so I got uh, six more panels to add to my uh, Sun Gold all-in-one system, which is going to give us uh, what the heck did I figure? 2,900 watts of so, uh, 49, 4,900 watts of solar to charge 12 batteries. 200 amp hour batteries at 48 volts so the the pro problem we were having was uh, we have enough solar for to run 12 volt but when we switch to 48 volt our solar struggling a little bit to keep up with the batteries and uh, ran across this deal I couldn't refuse uh, so we kicked out a little extra money and got six more 400 watt panels so it's gonna be we'll see what happens hopefully I can get it we can get them up here in the next day or so I still haven't gotten to the lipo 4 batteries on what happened with those uh, I got uh, the, the weather's been hot and it just now cooled off in the last couple of days so I've been getting out to do a couple stuff I uh, I got the 48 volt battery system hooked up for the well, but we uh, when we when we flip flipped the switch, it uh, everything started flashing, and we didn't know what. Or well, Leanne flipped the switch, and it freaked her out because it was everything was flashing, and uh, so we switched it back to just solar, and. Uh, did some research and found out that's normal that it flashes when the batteries are charging and when they're not charging they they the light the lights stay solid so it just kind of freaked us out so we're like we're gonna blow the well up and uh, yeah so I'm gonna do a video and I got lots of videos to do but the weather has been just crappy and I got a few days to get some stuff done and uh, like I got a hydraulic ram to make uh, or not hydraulic but electric electric ram to make the Articat a dump truck a little mini dump truck where you don't have to do the the two or three grunter to dump the box uh, and to put this uh, electric ram on it that it does uh, a little over a little over a half a ton so that's kind of cool so anyway it is Tuesday what did I say it's Tuesday uh, July 30th 2024 we're on episode 110 this week coming from G Bear Bill Morgan myself and Tony Walsh so let's get to it G Bear is the first three he wants to know is it true that if you stand by the sea it sounds like you have a shell to your ear <laughs> if you stand by the ocean does it sound like you have a shell to your ear that is that is funny and that's gonna bring us to number two are double negatives a no-no <laughs> double negatives no no that so that would be a double negative that's crazy that's English I, I guess G bear used to date a English teacher and he had to learn how to talk all over again like me <laughs> so number three from G bear so pulling a muscle while digging for gold is that just a minor injury <laughs> hold on hold on a second I'll be right back 
Okay, we're back. Now we're going to get into Bill Morgan's. Number four is a mistake repeated more than once. You make a mistake and you repeat it more than once. Now it becomes a choice. That's that's how true. You make a make a mistake more than once. That's a choice. Number five. Does running late count count as cardio? He's asking for a friend. Does running late count as cardio workout? <laughs> Number six. Oh, this is one of them. Uh, 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 one of them things I got off the how men think things. And it's uh, ask for what you want. Subtle and obvious hints do not work. Just say what you want. It's true. We're not very good at guessing uh, what the heck you're hitting at. More than likely, we lost interest. <laughs> no, I'll get in trouble for that one. But do you want? Ask for what you want, ladies. Subtle and strong, strong, subtle, strong, and obvious hints don't work with us. We, our brain isn't built that way. We're not. Just say what you want. us what you want. So that that is kind of a a cool advice. Uh, so that is going to bring us to number seven. Is a sleeping male cow a bulldozer? <laughs> I can't remember if that was if that was uh, Bills or or uh, G Bears. So so anyway, that is uh, is a sleeping cow a bulldozer? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So that is number seven. Number eight. Saw this on the news the other day, and I, and I, I thought it was kind of humorous. So the schools across the, on the other side of the hill from here. So the schools are incorporating blackout pouches for their kids' cell phones. You get to school, you grab your your assigned pouch, you put your cell phone in it, and you seal it, and you go to your class, and it sits on your desk next to you. I think it's a good idea, but. The parents and the kids are bitching. Well, we won't be able to get a hold of them in case of a family emergency. And I'm like, what? When we had a family emergency when we were in school, our parents or grandparents or whoever called the school, and this, the office sent somebody. They have your schedule in the office, so they scan. They sent somebody. To find you, duh. You're not going to be out of communication. You're just spoiled, you know. It's like I think it's a good idea because it's going to keep the kids off the phone during class. They're going to be texting their friends and or on the internet, whatever. I think it's a I think it's a pretty good idea, you know. Personally, I would leave the phones at home during school and do all your phone stuff after after school. You're going to school to learn, not to play with your phone. That's my opinion. So that is number eight. Number ten is from a good friend, Tony Walsh, and he wants to know, where did the term flabbergasted come from? I'm flabbergasted. 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 That's a good, good one, Tony. Uh, where did the term flabbergasted come from? And that is going to do it for episode 110 on July 30th, 2024. I already have uh, episode 111 and working on 112 already. I've had overwhelming response uh, the last couple of weeks. I'm getting more views on the, on the I have question videos and uh, it's really awesome. I'd like to welcome all the new viewers. Uh, I do videos when I want, 
when things arise I will do a video on it and weather permitting all that stuff and so bear with me uh, I do this I have questions every Tuesday religiously I'm uh, at a you know like I said I'm at a hundred this is my hundredth and hundred and tenth episode so got a good response I'd like to thank everybody for stopping by God bless everybody support your troops <coughs> get on boat we're getting close guys we're getting close to the voting the goober squad out because uh, man it, it's it's scary god bless everybody support your troops get on boat we'll see you on the next one bye